and welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 162, NASDAQ up 52, S&P's up 13, gold contract up $2, trading at 1,302 an ounce, silver. Up 15 cents at $19.64 an ounce. Platinum flat at 1,438 an ounce. Copper up four pennies at 302 a pound. Light sweet crude flat at 103.92 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year down seven ticks at 124.12. 30 year up four ticks at 134.30. King dollar up 17 ticks at 79.90. The euro flat at 138 and the yen up 35 trading at 102.27. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Can you say B to C? Because that's what we have happening, folks. The B to C leg of an ABC structure on the way down. We did 673 million versus 780. We are at 1861. Um, you know, bottom line is that you get 1863 to the game. You get 18... Well, the high, I, I don't expect we're going to get into this high, which is 1897. But what you do have, you have the 1863, you have the 18, 1883, still game. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What we have with the Dow is this. Dow Industrials up 162. Bottom line, you're going up with lighter volume, come down with volume. Deviance is all out there. The last high that was generated in the Dow was 16,661. You know, we can get into uh, this... Well, the first level we got into today, which is the 392. So you're at 424. So that's saying, hey, guess what? Game is on up to this uh, 392. No, not 392. 527. So you get, you get about another 103 points. And what I expect, you got to remember something. Markets close Friday. Tomorrow is going to be the last day before the long weekend. You'll see the volume contract again. We'll see the market go topside again. Composite. Now, the, the composite, of course, has been the dead dog. The composite went up 52 bucks today, got the bounce going. Volume is anemic. It's really pretty cool, actually. 1.8 billion versus 2.2. So you get the bounce going. In fact, if we go over to the SPY just for a second, we'll go back to the SPY for a second. So the SPY did 98 million shares versus 169 million shares and 172 million shares. The Qs, the three Qs. You're going to be able to learn so much about the marketplace, folks, in this market right now. Because it, if I've learned anything, it's like a mind blower how you can get a bounce with no volume. But it is a normal occurrence in down markets and up markets. That's just it's normal. But it's, it's a, it, in down markets, it seems to stick out more. Because it's like, man, you just got, we just, the market just went down beyond belief. You get a bounce and it's on anemic volume, and then the next leg comes down, and everyone that bought just gets taken to the clean as ASAP. The three Qs. Three Qs today went up $40.13. Uh, we did uh, 43 million shares. 43 million shares going into 131 million shares. Monster, monster. After the close here, we just had Google come up with numbers. Uh, this is Google closed at 563. It's trading, that's a late one, it's trading at 536 right now. So let's see what Google has to say. Uh, revenue, is the revenue fall short? This would be interesting if the revenue fell short. Google uh, is finding it hard to keep a broad shift to advertising on mobile phones with sales falling short of estimates. Revenue excluding sales passed on to partners was 12.2 billion in the first quarter, falling short of projection of 12.3. You're not that, they're only 100 grand off. That's not a huge amount of money. Um, Google's audience is steadily migrating to smartphones where the company gets less money for marketing spots than on desktops and tablets. That's going to continue, folks. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Big Blue. Let's go take a look at Big Blue. 
Big Blue, IBM closed at 196. That's trading at 191.95. Numbers go like this on Big Blue. The estimate was 254. They made 254. That's the bottom line. They always make the earnings per share, Big Blue, folks. Uh, top line, it just keeps going down. The estimate was 22.9 2, billion. They took in 22.48 billion. Um, this is over and over and over again. Um, the gross revenues of IBM just continue to go down and the way that they make their numbers on a continual basis, folks. Uh, they have 431,000 employees, uh, bottom line. They keep buying back shares and they've been buying all the way down. And what they also do um, is, uh, oh, thank you. I, I got uh, one of our tigers saying uh, I was wrong there that it's only... One tenth of a billion is 333 million. Thank you, man. Yeah. So here, yeah, let's go back to IBM for a second. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's one tenth of a billion. Sorry, man. No, hold it. So the revenue is uh, 22.9. Oh, and they took a 22.48. Yeah. I think, oh, no, I was talking about Google. One second. Let me go back to Google. Thank you, though. I appreciate that, man. So with Google, the revenue, let's pull this baby up. Okay, so. The revenue is 12.3, 12.2, and they did 12.3. It's 100 million. That's what it is. Yeah, okay, there's, there's 100, yeah, there's 10, yeah, there's 100 million. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, man. Give me those math flashcards. No doubt. 877-927-6648. Let's go, to, let's go take a look at uh, Big Blue. So Big Blue right now is at uh, 191.78. She was at 196. She, is, she just you know, can't handle higher price. Um, she's going to be going right back inside the range. The range there is 190.81. That's on the smaller basis, on a larger basis. Uh, this thing wants to basically trade a lot lower. You know, so we'll see how it goes after its swing low uh, once again. Some of the uh, high-volume stocks you had out here in a low-volume market. Uh, what we had is this. You had Yahoo is up uh, 216. We had Cisco up 14. Microsoft is up 65. We had Comcast up 76. Micron Technologies was up uh, 31. Some of the Dow stocks, we take a look at some of the Dow stocks. You had... Um, Honeywell was up a dollar fifty nine. We had Caterpillar up a buck. Oxy was up ninety one. Uh, J J P Morgan was uh, let's see, J P Morgan. Where is it? J P Morgan was up forty six. We had uh, Intel up sixteen. Gold contract. We go over to gold and the gold uh, equities, folks. You had a couple of them doing ABC structures on the way down. Uh, in particular, gold. Well, what gold did out here today, folks, is this: gold was flat. Uh, it had a price spread out there of 1293 to 1307. We closed at 1302. You did 109,000 contracts. Uh, bottom line is that this little baby is going to be building some cars to what? To go downtown, to go after the swing point of an ABC structure on the way down. The swing point on gold is 1277.40. If you want to see technically, folks, how it's just amazing to me on a continual basis, it's like, how does this work? And, you know, you just don't know, but what you do know is that the market knows all. And technically, the market knew all. Uh, if you if you take a look at um, Yumana Gold, Yumana Gold. Uh, if you get the gold report, you know we were watching that real closely because it was like, are you going to break out that bottom? And it's like, what is going to make Yumana Gold break out the bottom? She had already gone from 1072. She started pounding down at 851. She was pounding on April 2nd. Bottom line is that Yumana Gold and an Eco Eagle uh, basically got in the middle of a deal that Gold Corp had. Gold Corp was doing a um, a takeover, uh, a hostile takeover of another gold company. Uh, bottom line is that Yumana and an Eco Eagle got involved in it, and now it's going to be a friendly takeover. Bottom line is that the market toasted and roasted both of those stocks. You had an Eco Eagle do 6.2 million, blow away the swing point, <laughs> extraordinary way. Uh, the swing point was 29.95. Had 1.4 million. Um, big number. Big number. Uh, that little baby uh, is going down to the swing lows. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648.
We have the Dow finish up 162, NASDAQ up 58, S&P's up uh, 14. We're going to be right back, folks. Thank you.